The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. With only days until the widely anticipated royal wedding of Prince William and Miss Kate Middleton on April 29th, there are reportedly around 5,500 street parties planned across the United Kingdom on the special day, with London alone having registered for 800 street celebrations. His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan welcomed Romanian President Dorian Bosescu to the capital Amman, where they discuss improving cooperation in all areas, as well as efforts towards achieving peace in the Middle East and Northern Africa. With two satellites already launched and plans for a network of 30, the European Union's Galileo Constellation Satellite Navigation System is working in tandem with the already successful EGNOS system, which improves satellite reliability through a network of ground stations, making significant contributions to aviation, agriculture and even assisting in shopping for the visually impaired. A new contingent of Bolivian officers, civil employees and reserve soldiers specialising in construction and healthcare arrive in Haiti to replace the existing group and continue with helping the country rebuild after the January 2010 earthquake. Researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany are developing three-dimensional skin using existing human skin cells, which they hope will be able to replace animal testing of chemicals, pharmaceuticals and cosmetics, as well as organ reconstruction. A two-year-old girl who accidentally slipped and fell while playing on the fourth-floor balcony of a hotel in Orlando, USA, was miraculously caught on the ground by British tourist Helen Beard, who saw her hanging from the railing and ran to save her in time. With Bangladeshis still affected by the 2009 cyclone Ayla, the European Union is donating additional financial aid of 10 million euros to help rebuild homes, infrastructure and people's lives. Thanks to the keen ears of their canine boxer Duke, Jane Walsh and Sean Wood rescue a four-month-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier severely injured and left to die in an industrial bin in Cheshire East UK, saying they will also adopt the puppy upon his release from the hospital.